So today we are going to see how we can take an invoice that we get and actually process the data out and show the data in a dashboard like format. And we can simplify this as you want. This is how we presented it mostly to show you all the aspects of it. Uh, but you can we can simplify it and it actually gives you a quick rundown of what's happening with your invoice. To start with, let's go ahead and um, uh, look at one of uh, the invoices that we got and we are going to analyze that invoice and basically process that invoice also. So let's say I'm going to uh, pick my favorite red pirates. I like them, uh, not just because they are pirates, but you know, the pirates is fancy. Um, so yeah, so we have, so the system will process that invoice. It actually detects the terms in that invoice. It actually finds out the bill who has been sent to the company, the, the, the row numbers. It actually detects the rows. As you guys can see, it has actually detected the row items which is really cool because you don't have to do reconciling anymore by right? this. You actually have a due date, you have the amount, everything is populated, you can just see and verify, you can say, oh, this looks good. Um, yes, it's good, and I can click save. When I click save, it's currently going and saving the data into a SharePoint list, which I have it open on my other end. So basically, it's populating the data into a dashboard again for on SharePoint where it's actually showing everything uh, in one place, so I don't have to go and find that information. If I scroll a little bit down, I can see my new invoice that came in from, um, uh, from the Red Pirates. And also, if I go back to my app, there is one step which I have missed, the row items which I was talking about. So now I have the rows, I have got the initial data that is saved. I've got the, also the file saved in SharePoint, so I don't have to go and physically upload anything, but I want to, Get the row items also because I don't want to, I don't like to do reconciling. So I can just go and say update invoice details. And what it will do is, and the back end, it will take those row items, get the invoice number, relate those two records, and save it in SharePoint in a different list. So basically, you have a quick dashboard that works out automatically. You don't have to do anything. It just the system does it for you. It just builds all the reports, it builds all the repository or invoices that you're looking in, and actually it puts the invoice into your dashboard. So you can see this is the latest one we process um, and it will bring it up here and then it will put the invoice, it will put the receipt here and it will even show the salespersons who are working on it and it will show them all. So in this way, you are actually uh, having an app uh, with you, not on your laptop, but on your phone, on your uh, iPad, wherever they are, they can actually go and uh, take a snapshot of a uh, invoice or they can take a uh, invoice that was sent to them in digital copy scan them, and then up you go. You have the invoices in the system. So this is quite quick and easy. But you know what? A lot of my customers ask me like, what if I've got invoices to process? Am I going to go and scan each one of them? Uh, that's a pain. So what do we do? So the other way we can do is, most of the times invoices now nowadays at least comes in email. So we are going to get the invoice in an email. We are going to actually look at the invoices, ourselves, open them up, and then reconcile them or add them to the system. What if that can be done in the backend system automatically? And that's where Power Platform adds that automation piece as a, as a bridge word in there. So we got Power Automate, which actually can process data as it is received and then do the AI builder or AI scanning on top of it. So right now in our example, we will actually just simulate that. We'll have a email send it to our user, Lydia. Uh, and we will go and attach our invoice. We will we'll attach another invoice this time, let's say Iris times. Um, and then we will just say invoice. Now, why this keyword is important? Because we have programmed the system to actually pick not every email, only the ones which have invoice in it. Otherwise, it will just keep scanning every one of them that will come through. It doesn't make sense. So we'll just have invoice for um, time and we will say, okay, we are going to send it. Now, obviously, I'm sending this user to Zenfer, so I will get the invoice. Now, the thing is, nothing needs to be done. There's no front end. The back end system will kick in. It will actually do the job. It will do the same job that Power Apps did, and it can do for any number of attachments. In the example, we have taken only one. If you have four or five, it will do that. What it will do is it will process that invoice. It will work through it, and then what it will do, it will send you an email. Basically, after it has processed the invoice it has made all the entries for you 
it will go back and send an email with the status of what happened and a link to the page that you can go to and look for that invoice. So you will be landing up on this page where you can go ahead and filter that invoice. You will see the invoice item details and the attachments right away. So you can just directly look at it instead of going and finding it, you know, where they are. It just processes on the back end. You just have one screen, the one dashboard screen to come to, look at for all your invoices and just walk through it. Uh, it saves a lot of time. That's the beauty of it. It's not about making it work. It's actually saving that time, which you can purpose it for us.